Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and, uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to ask my colleague from the NDP a question because I think that uh, myself and I know some of my, my colleagues here were, are very, very curious to know whether or not um, the, the NDP are willing to assert uh, the, this supposedly newfound independence that they, they are, are talking about uh, and, and vote non-confidence in a corrupt government that is, has such disregard for tax dollars, disregard for the public service, in fact, and I know he mentioned that, that this should have been something that was done in-house. Arrive Can could have been done in-house, done by our professional public servants, but instead the mismanagement, the corruption, the scandal that plagues this government. Yet, and I would ask very specifically to that member, they refuse to commit to voting non-confidence in that corruption. Can he clarify today whether or not they will vote non-confidence in that Prime Minister and that Liberal government and show whether or not they are actually breaking up the so-called, uh, 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 or tearing up the so-called so agreement? The Honourable for Windsor West. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I have no idea what that has to do with the motion that they put forth, but that's not surprising from the member and from the way that they're behaving. I'm, no, what I, what I do have here is I have some more documents, and I'm glad to have the floor. If I had my yes, consent, I could go on for longer, because I have right here, Harper's government record and scandals. I have the last 10 years of Stephen Harper scandals. I have the conservative collection of Harper government scandals as well. So I have lots of here to go on. I also have here, when I want to go specifically to the motion, here's Auditor's General Office to cut 60 jobs, reduce number of audits, thanks to the conservative government, thanks to Stephen Harper, thanks to their agenda, which they never told the public when they went to the poll. They never told the public that they were going to raise retirement from 65 to 67. They never told the public they were going to cut $100 million from border, from, uh, from border services. They never told my community they were going to close, which they did, the Veterans Office and the Recruiting Office. They never said any of those things. So, Madam Speaker, I'd love to have the floor to talk about those.